Okay, so I know that municipal government is not like fun or sexy or anything, but that does not mean that it isn't very important. First of all, we need municipal government, all other forms of government to work because municipal governments are the ones that are in charge of voting. If you've ever, you've ever voted, you know that what you do is you go to your polling place, you uh, get checked off for your name, which is under your address, you vote, you give your ballot, and you leave. What you don't see behind that is the municipal government. The polling locations are set up by the municipal government. The municipal government is the ones in charge of counting all of the votes. This means that you can't vote for president without municipal government. But the presidential elections are not the only ones that exist. Research done in 2018 uh, in the New York Times shows that on average only 27% of Americans vote in municipal elections. And this 27% is especially shocking when you look at the most recent presidential election in 2020 had 76% voter turnout across Massachusetts. Okay, so now that I've demonstrated, you know, the fact that local government doesn't get a lot of attention, that still leaves the question, what the heck d does local government do? Zoning laws and regulations dictate what can be built where. For example, you know, are they going to build an apartment building here? Are they going to build a single family homes, you know, condos? Are they going to put um, businesses here? Are we going to have this be a housing area? All of that is zoning. Zoning greatly affects who can live where and how how people live. For example, you know, if it's only single family homes versus apartments, you're probably going to be having less young people, you know, more, you know, economically established people, you know, families. Um, and, you know, if you put businesses near housing, then you can have people, it's a more walkable neighborhood because people can walk to go shopping and walk to you know, get coffee and stuff like that. And so all of that greatly affects the makeup and the environment of a municipality. An awesome function of town government is uh, parks in charge of public spaces slash parks and recreations. You know, if you've ever seen Parks and Rec, that's what Leslie Nope does, you know, because no one else in that office actually does any work. Um, <laughs> Here you can see a sign for a lovely park in uh, my town, the Lost Pond Sanctuary, and as you can see its maintenance is done by the Brookline Parks and Open Space Division, the Brookline Conservation Commission, and the Friends of Lost Pond. Lost Pond is the name of the park, um, and it's really fun. Here is a video of my neighbor's dog and I in the park. Yes, yes, sit. Yes, sit, I did put sit. that in as an excuse to show you how cute my neighbor's dog is. <laughs> Another function of municipal government that you have probably been directly affected by is schools. You know, funding for the all the public schools. Oftentimes school curriculums are determined by the state, so uh, the town government doesn't have control of that, but it does have control of funding. You know, who's going to pay the teachers, how much they're going to pay the teachers. Uh, that's between the teachers unions and the town government. Similar to the way schools are funded, police and fire departments are also funded. Now what I mean by that is um, it's the same with the unions negotiate contracts with the town government and then the town government pays their employees in the police and fire departments. And when it comes to road work, here are some examples that you've definitely seen. Look at this pothole. Now look at whatever this long line of potholes is. I'm sure that your neighborhood and your town has those just like mine does and the people who are in charge of that is the town government now it's sort of an old joke as you complain about potholes but it's true hey so i'm editing the, this video right now i just wanted to pop in here and say two things one that i, I know i'm joking about you know how roads never get fixed but actually municipal governments are awesome and they do fix roads when they can, when they try to, they have a schedule, they need funding, so there's that. The second thing is that underneath the street maintenance umbrella 
is snow removal, which is something that is very, very important and necessary up here in Massachusetts and New England. Now, something else that you probably haven't heard of is, you know, licensing and permits. Now, specifically for establishments, there's like food permits, alcohol permits, liquor licenses are all things that the town government issues. In conclusion, if any of these many things that I've talked about are things that matter to you, then you should vote in your next municipal election. As the possible voting population gets smaller, each individual vote counts more. Last year, there was a Boston City Councilor race where there was a recount and the winning city councilor uh, won by just one single vote. That's insane, and that just shows how important your vote is in municipal elections.